Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing my farmhouse makeover series marathon. At the end of last year, we went up to Montana to my brother's farmhouse and helped them transform four different rooms into completely new spaces. One of the rooms is my nephew's shared bedroom. Another one is their laundry closet. Also, we tackled my niece's loft bedroom as well as my brother and sister-in-law's master bedroom. So in this video, I am going to be compiling all of those makeover episodes into one super long marathon video so that you can just pop this up on your TV or your tablet or your phone and just watch the entire makeover series without having to flip onto different videos or find the next episode. Now this was one of my most favorite makeover series that I have ever shared and I hope that you love it too. We actually have a few new makeover series coming in the next few months so make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on those upcoming videos and when you're done watching this video let me know in the comments which of these episodes was your favorite and also let me know which one of my makeover series has been your favorite so far. I just always think it's super fun to get your feedback and just hear which ones you were loving the most. But anyway, I hope you really enjoy this video and I hope it gets you excited to see the new upcoming makeover series that are coming out soon. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to video number one of my brand new farmhouse makeover series. I have been so excited to share this new series with you guys. My brother and sister-in-law actually live up in Montana on a farmhouse that they built themselves but they have just not ever really gone through different rooms in their house and really styled them or made them really functional. So they have four boys and one daughter. And so today we are going to be doing the room that has all four boys in one bedroom. It's definitely caused a lot of struggle for them, not having a good bed situation, dressers and storage and things like that. And so I'm super excited to be able to come in here and totally make over their space. We are going to be basically starting from the ground up in here and just pulling everything out and just completely transforming the space. I am so beyond excited to do this for my nephews and also be able to share it with you guys and hopefully give you some inspiration and ideas for your own home. So before we get going, I'm actually going to turn you around and really kind of show you what we are starting with and then you can see the transformation as it progresses. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. darkness my home was a night they came into my life showed me brilliant light so the first thing that I wanted to do was just pull everything out of the room and as you can see they do have a traditional bunk bed and then also a queen size mattress just sit on the floor and that is their sleeping situation right now. They also did not have enough clothing storage for all four of the boys so we are going to be pulling everything out of this room and then starting from scratch. When they built their farmhouse they did not get any new furniture and so they are just kind of making do with what they had so I'm really excited to transform this room for them and just make everything really really functional and make all the pieces in here really work well with the space. We have basically everything out of here minus the big furniture. So we have their old bunk bed and then their old dresser, the big mattress on the floor. I also have this like chest in the closet and then the toys that are kind of around it. So we are going to pull all that out and we'll kind of do like a quick clean in here and start building some furniture.
So this is their old dresser that they had most of their clothes in. Obviously this is not going to fit all of the boys clothes so they did have a few drawers underneath the bed and that was basically their clothing storage situation. So we are going to be doing something a little bit differently in this bedroom. I cannot wait to show you how well it ends up turning out and that is just one of the places that we are going to be bringing function to today. So here, since we had every single piece of furniture pulled out of the room, which does not always happen, I really wanted to make sure that we got the floors super clean. Now their mop had actually just broken. And because we were just visiting Montana from Utah, I did not have my mop. And so I just got on my hands and knees and started scrubbing the floor as best I could. All right, we have everything pulled out of the room and it's so echoey in here, so sorry about that. But we have every single piece of furniture, minus my tripod, pulled out of the room. I have the floor cleaned. Now Kyle and I are going to bring in the huge cube organizer that I will kind of talk about later on for their storage for like their clothes. So we are going to bring the cube organizer in, get that built, and then we are also going to bring in their new bunk bed. So now we are getting into starting to build the furniture and the first furniture piece that Kyle and I are going to be building is the cube organizer. Now this is a crazy huge cube organizer. It's actually from Ikea, but I will link another one down below in case if you don't have an Ikea near you. This is a 25 cube organizer and this is going to be perfect for the shared boys bedroom. So I'm going to set it up in the way that each of the boys will have one entire row, which means they will have five cubes in total. And then they're also going to have a small spot on top and that way they'll each have an open cube that they can keep something special in there and just have some nice separated space even though they are sharing a bedroom. If you've seen my other makeover videos in the past, you have probably seen me use cube organizers all over. I feel like they are such a great use of space. They are really, really functional and great to organize with. And they've also made them over the years a little bit higher quality. And so they end up looking really nice in any space and just kind of elevating the space as well. So that is why I love cube organizers and why you probably see me use them a lot. We got the cube organizer built. It is big, but it actually fits really nicely in this room. I felt like it was just the perfect solution for having four boys in the room. So this is the cube organizer that we just built. My plan for this is to have cubbies as drawers for each of the boys. So like one row will be the youngest, the next row is the next youngest, next and the next. And then also I wanted to give them each a little cubby that is going to be each of their own individual space. They can put like trophies or kind of whatever little things just so they have their own little space in the room. 
I know sometimes when you have a shared room, it's really hard to have personal space in that room. And so that's what I really wanted to create with this is it's very functional here, but I also wanted to include something a little extra just so they each have their own space. So I'm really excited for them to see that. So here you're just seeing Kyle and my brother start to install the barn door rail. Now they actually made their barn doors from wood that they had at their farm, but I'm going to link down below a barn door that is very similar to theirs. You would just have to stain it as well. And then I also am going to link the exact hardware that they used. I loved how everything turned out and we're actually planning to do something super similar down in our own basement when we install our own barn doors. So here Kyle and I are starting to build the triple bunk bed for the boys. Now this particular bunk bed is a little bit more unique than just a triple bunk bed which is already super functional but because they are having four boys in this bedroom I wanted to make sure that we had a sleeping space for every single boy and I still wanted to leave as much floor space as I could and so for that reason I ended up choosing a triple bunk bed with two twins on the top two bunks and a full bunk on the bottom and that way I would just give them the maximum sleeping space but also not take up a whole bunch of extra room on the ground. All right, we finally got the entire bed built. I felt like it was easier than I thought it was going to yeah, be, but it, it was time consuming. It took a while, but it was easier. It was pretty straightforward to build it. This yeah. is the view out the boys' window, and you can see two of their horses just grazing. It's so pretty out here. There's our camper. We've just been sitting in the camper. And then, oh, you can't see it, but all the kids are over there playing on the trampoline. Okay, so I just walked out of the room to go get like all the decor and just all of the bedding and just things like that to put into the bedroom. And it is such a wreck out there. Overwhelming, honestly, but it is just 100% like how it goes when you're doing a makeover, especially when you're doing a makeover like this where you're doing all, like everything all at once. I just always like to share that. So I'm gonna take you guys out there and show you. Don't ever feel like you have to have it together all the time. This is basically a good example of how life is for everyone always. like. When one part of your life is looking really good, another part is just falling apart. It's just life. So this room is looking amazing right now. The rest of the house, not so much. But we will get that tackled tomorrow or later on this week as we take it through out the rest of the other rooms. I'm so happy with how everything is turning out. I am starting to lose some sunlight just because building everything took a bit longer. I think this makeover is going to end up going into tomorrow, but that's okay. It just takes the time it takes and it'll be so worth it. So as I'm putting on the boys' new bedding, I wanted to mention why I am doing just a fitted sheet. Now, if you are able to order Betty's bedding or something like that, where you have like the zip it up bedding, that is perfect. I feel like that's probably the best way to do bunk beds. However, those can be pretty pricey. And so if you don't choose to do Betty's bedding or something similar to that, I would definitely suggest trying out my method that I've used for my boys for years. And that is just using a fitted sheet and then folding a comforter or quilt and putting that 
mat at the bottom of their bed. It makes it really nice and easy to make your bed because you literally pull the blankets off and then fold it up and put it at the bottom of the bed each day. And there's no fuss with having to tuck everything into a bunk bed. It's just really nice and easy. So that's what I decided to do for their bed as well. All right, so it's actually the next day. I was starting to lose light, so I decided to just pause for the night. We actually ran into town and got a couple of the things that I needed for a few of the other room makeovers, and so I think we're pretty much set to go forward with everything. This shelf built and put in, we have the bunk bed put in. You can see they were working on a barn door yesterday, so later today they will put the barn door in, and as soon as we get the closet all situated, then I'm gonna start decorating in here, and I'm super excited just to see it all come together, but already it is just such a huge difference from what it was yesterday when we first started so i can't wait to see how everything kind of starts to unfold when the sun goes down, So here I'm just using some chalkboard labels. I will link some down below in case if you would like to order some as well. But I do the same thing with my own boys' clothes. I've just found it so nice to be able to label their clothes and it makes it really nice to help them be a little bit more independent. And so for the older kids, I will actually write out the words of what clothes are in each bin. And then for the younger ones, I will actually draw out a little picture and it really helps them be a little bit more independent when finding their clothes each day. So the coat hook that I got for the boys room is actually from Ikea. I really, really loved it. I want to say it was around $10, but it looks super, super high end. And I just ended up painting it white. And then you have like these little hooks on here. And then also in front of the hooks, you have like a little nameplate. So I'm actually not going to write anything on the nameplate. They can choose if they want to do that, but we are just going to install that now. So I really did not choose to include a whole ton of wall decor. I wanted this room to be really simple and still styled, but any of the wall decor that I did get pretty much came from Hobby Lobby. I will do my best to find the links and share them down below with you guys, just like everything else in the video that I can find. I always try to link everything either here in the video, in the description box, or also over on my website. So here I'm just starting to work on the curtain situation and I wanted to do something very simple and minimal in this space, but I also wanted to make it very budget friendly and just not spend a whole ton on curtain rods. So this DIY curtain rod is something that I would definitely suggest trying out in your own home and I will have everything linked down below as well for this, but all you're going to do is get some leather strap and cut it down to size depending on how low you want your curtain rod to hang. And then to make it a little bit easier, we are just drilling a hole into the leather to line it up and then we will screw that right into the wall. And then next you're just going to take a pipe or a wooden dowel that you have painted if you want to paint it or you can keep it natural as well. And then just slide your curtain into that and slide that into the leather straps that you've attached to the wall. And that is it. It really could not be simpler. And depending on what type of rod you use, it can cost under $10 to do this. And I feel like it just looks so amazing. So 
So for the DIY, all I am using here are just some wooden frames that I had found at Hobby Lobby. You can really use any frame that you want for this. And then all I'm going to do is hot glue some mini clothespins to the top middle of the wooden frame. And then that way you can add in your kids artwork, you can print things off that they love. You can really make this as customized as you want. And I also love that this is something that really costs you nothing to keep up and change out as their taste and interests change over time. So here I am just starting to add in all of the boys clothes and as you can see this is working out so well. I was so amazed with how much clothes they had and still how much room they had left in their bins. Everything is all nice and organized. Everything is really separated and I feel like this is going to be so beneficial for their family and for their boys shared room and just bring a lot of organization into this space. And I also love that it was the most cost effective way to store four boys clothes in one room and it also took up the least amount of floor space. So here we are just starting to add in the custom closet built-ins and a great way to do this is to get a five cube organizer and then stick that into your closet and then you're able to attach it right to the wall and then add your rods on either side of it. It makes it so nice and easy and you definitely don't have to weld like my brother was doing here. You can totally just use wooden dowels or whatever you can find at the hardware store to make it a little bit easier on yourself but this can make a closet so functional and useful but without spending a ton of money on a custom closet. My heart's been ripped wide open So many mixed emotions It's like I finally noticed I've been set free I've been set free I spent a lifetime running Fearing what I'd become if I Stop playing goalie on all of my thoughts, yeah Speaking out straight from my heart, but now I see But now I see Oh, I see this love is taking over Breaking through my chest and overflowing With every single so I feel like this makeover particularly really shows that you don't have to add too much decor to a room. You can really just add a few statement pieces here and there and it can still have such great style without being overwhelmed and just feeling cluttered. I really wanted to keep it very simple in here because there was going to be a lot going on already with the big bunk bed and also with all of the cube organizer and everything. And so I wanted to keep it really simple, but I still wanted to style it in a way that reflected the boys' interest and also gave them a little bit of their own space just to help them feel like they had their own personal space even though it was a shared room. So even though we do have four clothing rods here, I am actually going to just be keeping all the boys clothes up top on the top rod and that way I'm able to kind of tuck in their double laundry baskets so they each have a laundry space to put their dirty clothes in and then they also have all the cubbies in between and they can use that space to get even more function out of the space. Oh, I see this love is taking over, breaking through my chest and overflow. So this is the before of the bedroom, if you can remember that. Everything was kind of everywhere, nothing really had a great space. Their sleeping situation wasn't fitting for all four boys in this bedroom and neither was their clothing situation. And their closet also was really just kind of a mismatch of everything. 
and then here is the after i love this so much this is one of my favorite spaces that i've ever made and it makes me so happy to be able to do this for my nephews and just make this space a place that they really can go into and enjoy being in and have a place to play and a place to sleep and just store all their clothes and just make everything really nice and organized and simple for them i love the touches of adding the wooden elements into here as well as all the metal and i also feel like while we were able to add a lot of function into this space and just make great use of all the areas that they have i also feel like i was able to add in a little space for each of them and just help them kind of know that they have their own personal space in this room even though it is shared with all of their brothers so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this gave you tons of ideas for your own home and your own spaces and i hope that you're just as excited as i am for the next upcoming makeovers I have three more videos that I will be sharing with you guys, so make sure that you are subscribed with your notification bell on so that you do not miss out on those ones. I cannot wait to share the rest of this farmhouse series makeovers with you guys. I hope you have the most amazing day, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. All of those are yours. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting to work on makeover number two of our farmhouse makeover series. I am so excited to share this with you guys today. So last video we shared a boy's bedroom where we actually transformed my nephew's bedroom and put all four boys into this one bedroom and made it totally functional and amazing. I love how it turned out and I hope that you guys enjoyed that video as well. If you did miss that one, I will link it down below for you guys. But today we are working on a laundry closet. I know it looks completely bare. I actually got a quick start on it last night because we had to paint the wall white. So I'm going to first go ahead and just show you what we were first starting out with, kind of like the before. And then I'm also going to show you what we did late last night. And then we will start getting into everything today because we have a lot to get done. So before doing anything else, I wanted to take down the previous shelving and get a fresh coat of white paint on the interior walls of the laundry closet. Whenever you are working in a really small space, it really will benefit you to paint the walls either white or just a really light color in general. It definitely makes the space feel a lot brighter and it can also really make the space feel a lot larger, which is always amazing when you are working with a small area. Captain. 
So the paint that we started with in here was the same color that is on the walls. It's kind of like a gray color, but it just ended up looking really dark in the space and we are going to be putting in some darker shelves and some dark piping and we just wanted to make a really nice contrast and some good, like a nice pop with that color. And so for that reason, we ended up going ahead and just painting this white, but just like anything else in a makeover, there are always going to be hiccups and so I started off with one white that they had and it was like an older paint and we didn't have very much of it so I needed another coverage of it. We completely ran out so then we went ahead and got a different paint <laughs> and tried that one. We ran out of that and it was like a weird like a milk paint and so it just did not give good coverage either and so early this morning we got up and it still just looked so splotchy everywhere and so we did a third color of white and we did two cuts of that and now it looks good. It looks like seamless. It just looks nice and right now we have a good base so now we're gonna head downstairs and we are going to finish up the shelves we are just stained those gray like a really pretty gray color and then I think my brother is also working on the rods that we are going to be attaching the shelves to the wall with so we have a few more things to get done down there and then once we get all of that prep work done we're going to move back into here and start getting it all put together I'm so excited with how I know that this is going to turn out and I just can't wait to share the process with you guys So here we are just starting to do some of the DIYs. Really all we're doing is just sanding down the wood shelves and then we are also going to be adding some stain to those and also adding a poly coat. And then my brother and my husband are both going to be working on the piping for the shelving as well. Now I'll talk about this a little bit later on, but if you are not doing a full DIY like we are doing here, I'm also going to be linking some great options to give you the same look that we are going for here, but things that just don't require quite so much DIYing. So Kyle and my brother are currently working on getting the pipes ready to install in the laundry room. So I am actually in the boys bedroom right now that we just made over yesterday. And so I'm going to get started on building a little cube organizer that will be going in the laundry room on the bottom. I can't put it in yet until all the shelves are put in but there is nothing really for me to do with the laundry room until the shelves are put in. So instead of just sitting around waiting, I'm going to get working on building the little cube organizer and then that way when it's time to put it in, it's already good to go.
super easy. This is definitely like the easiest cube I think I've ever built. It's just a tiny like two tier cube, but I think it's going to be perfect in the laundry space. So I'm excited to show you where I'm planning to use it and how it will just benefit the space. So finally we're starting to install the shelving and I know when we first started this project I was starting to feel like this was going to be a little bit in and over our heads on this. We were just adding a lot of DIY pieces. We were just adding a lot of shelving and things like that and it really did not end up being as complicated or as much work as it may have seemed. So if you are wanting to do something similar to what I'm going to be sharing in this makeover, please do not look at this and think, oh my gosh, I am so overwhelmed. I could never do that. It was really so much more simple than you realize. And the way that my brother held up most of the shelving was actually by using L brackets. You can get these at any local hardware store, but it made it really, really simple and easy. All you need to do is just find a stud, drill the L bracket right into the stud, and then attach your board to it. And it is so simple and it makes the board really, really sturdy. It never ends and they never know why, why they still wake up unsatisfied. We're all waking up unsatisfied. So like I had mentioned before, I'll link some shelving kits that give the same look as these, but they are pre-cut and they are just ready to attach right to the wall. And then as for the wood shelving, the top two shelves that go in with the pipe are actually just pieces of plywood that were cut down to the width of the room and then also the depth of the pipes. So you can totally do that yourself or you can even go to your hardware store and have them cut it for you. And then all we did to them was just give them a coat of stain and then also a coat of poly. My brother just got the pipes and shelves and everything installed. So now is the fun part. We are going to start decorating. And I also wanna make sure that I make this space very functional for them. And so while I'm going to be putting some pretty pieces in there, anything that can make laundry a little bit more enjoyable is definitely a good thing. They are living in a pretty small house for their family size. It's about a thousand square feet for a family of seven. And so they just need to make sure that all of their space is being utilized as best as possible. And so I am going to be making sure to make a good place for all their linens because they don't have a linen closet. Also like extra toilet paper, things like that, and their towels. So I want to make sure that I can really incorporate all of that into their laundry room. So we have a bit of a challenge ahead of us. So I'm going to make sure that I'm making it both functional and beautiful. Let's get to it. So I get this question all the time when I share my makeovers here on YouTube and I wanted to make sure to kind of address it with you guys. So I always get questions like how do I plan out my makeovers and how do I make things so functional in them? And I always start out by asking two questions. One, what are the problems that you have in the space? And two, what are the functions that you want to accomplish in this room? And just by asking those two simple questions to either yourself or whoever you are doing the makeover for, it can help you go into a makeover extremely intentional and it helps that makeover be extremely functional and really cross off all of the things that you were hoping to do in that space. So for this space specifically, I asked my brother and sister-in-law those same questions and they told me a few different things. They said they really wanted it to be aesthetically pleasing because it is open to the living room and the things that they wanted to function well in the space was laundry of course and then they also wanted to be able to store some extra cleaning supplies in there as well as all of their linens because they don't have a linen closet in their home and so because of that they really needed this space to be very functional for them and I think at the end I was really able to do this because I had all those questions asked and I had all those questions answered and it helped me go into this makeover very intentional and just knowing exactly what I wanted to accomplish when I was done. 
So as you can see, a few of the things that I've added into this space to make it both functional and also aesthetically pleasing is a laundry detergent dispenser. I picked this one up at Target and I actually love the style of it. It looks very nice, but it also has a really unique spigot that just kind of works a little bit better than the other ones I've seen. So I'll be sure to link this one down below. And another thing that I loved was adding in a little box to put in some dryer balls, as well as this little bucket that I just wrote lint on. And it makes it super easy when you don't have a garbage can in your laundry closet. You can just store your lint in here and then toss it out when it gets full. And it just makes everything function a little bit nicer. I also added in some cube organizers and a big large basket and that's great to store things like toilet paper and also linens and even camouflage some cleaning supplies as well. I also added in a lazy Susan which is perfect to use anytime you have shelving. It just makes it really easy to get to any items that you need. So here is the before of their laundry closet. As you can see, everything was just kind of piled. There really was not a whole lot of storage. There wasn't a whole lot of function and it definitely wasn't great to look at. It was just kind of very simple and there was no kind of added decor to it. And then here is the after. I am so in love with this laundry closet. I'm honestly about to redo my own laundry room and really kind of mimic what we did here because I just loved it so much. And I love the contrast of the dark wood and the dark piping pushed up against the bright white wall it just looks so aesthetically pleasing to me and it also is just very very functional but also very simple i loved everything we were able to add into their space we really made it truly functional for them they have extra cleaning supplies stored in here they have all their linens that they need and i ended up having space to add extra linens that they weren't previously storing in here so i feel like this was a total win and honestly later on they can end up taking things out and changing things up and adding even more storage into this space because they do have all of the shelving that they can really just utilize however they need. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you tons of ideas for your own laundry room or your own laundry closet if that's what you have in your home. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite part of this makeover. I cannot wait to share the next makeover with you, so definitely make sure that you're subscribed with the notification bell on so that you do not miss out on the next two makeovers as well. I hope you have the most amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! This is incredible. Like, wow. Oh, such an eyesore. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like, wow.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode number three in my farmhouse makeover series where I am sharing four different makeovers at my brother's farmhouse in Montana. Now today I am transforming my niece's tiny loft bedroom into a super functional space with some really neat DIYs, creative organizing solutions and decor and all being done on a very small budget. So here I'm just showing the before of her bedroom. As you can see, there are some things in here that are a little bit unfinished that we are going to be tackling today. There are not a lot of great organizing solutions in here and she also has a lot of things all over her wall and so I'm just going to be getting creative and still showing all of those things off but I also want to do it in a way that is just a little bit more calm and peaceful especially in such a small space so let's go ahead and jump on into this makeover. I wanna hear you say yeah. So as usual, the first thing that I wanted to do in here was empty out everything from my niece's bedroom and that way we can really start with a clean space. And I also wanted to give you a little bit of a background on her room. So this bedroom is a five by seven and they have it set up in a loft style bedroom, which ends up being really perfect because she has like the bedroom area and all of the free time space and all the functionality down in the main area of the bedroom. And then she climbs a ladder and gets on top of her bed and is able to sleep up high at night. And then that way her bed is not taking up any of the floor space space down below but she still has a pretty functional room and especially once we are done with all of this she is going to have one of the coolest rooms I think I've seen and it's just a really fun unique space and I really wanted to make it a little bit more grown up for her and I think we totally nailed that in this one so I can't wait to share the progress of this room with you guys. As you will see, my niece Keely has a ton of ribbons and just really special things that she's earned over the years that she loves displaying on her wall. So I am taking everything down, as I had mentioned earlier, just to go ahead and just start with a clean space. But I am going to be bringing a lot of those things back into the room and then finding really unique ways to display them in just a more calm way. think I don't know. I've been around but never somewhere this cold You take away you want But it's never, I'm never enough I'm caught up in a fool's love Cause I'm burning up for you and I can't let go I feel a sky fall around me and you don't know Diamond lines got me hooked on your false hope Loving you just like holding on to fool's gold And I thought that you were someone I could run to Now I'm left with all the things you said you wouldn't do This was never something real enough for you to hold Cause it's a false love, honey, and a fool's gold Fool's gold One more fight turns into one more Jacob. Just kidding. Stop. Ow. <laughs> Stop it. And I'm always gonna try and say that it's the last time. Then you say it's what you want, but it's never, never enough. I'm living in a fool's life. Oh. Gosh, Jacob. Stop it. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> So one of the spaces that I really wanted to tackle in this bedroom was to finish up the loft area up here. If you remember what it looked like right in the beginning, everything was just very unfinished and it just kind of left it feeling very unfinished. And so we wanted to do a few different things. We decided to add in some leftover flooring that they had into the loft area of the bedroom along with some baseboards just to complete the area up there and kind of make it feel truly like a second level. And then we also ended up adding this beam that you see up here. And that was one for function to keep the mattress from moving around up there. And it also just finished off the look 
and just help make that space look really, really finished up there and like it was intended to be that way. And then we also ended up adding some shiplap underneath the bottom of the bed and I will link some shiplap options down below so you can get different ones off of Amazon if you wanted to achieve the same look. extra <laughs> all the spare we have okay so we got the bed completely situated we have this beam up here to really hold the mattress in and mostly just make it look finished we have all the ship black put in it made this space actually so bright I'm kind of I was almost debating on whether we should paint that little that wall right there just a small little accent wall i think it's gonna look really good but i always get nervous when i do like big bold things like this so fingers crossed it turns out good if not it is just paint we can always just repaint it but i think it's gonna look really really neat in here so we're gonna paint that then i'm gonna bring the furniture in then we're gonna get to decorating it's all coming together though I'm just gonna believe what the truth is. Pure my rock, I'll never be ruthless. I ain't gotta worry about nothing. Your love is amazing. Your love is enough. You keep changing my life. You keep filling my cup. I want all that you want. Not a part of it. That's why all I want is you. All I want is you. All I want is you. All I want is. You. All I, want is you. I found out the gospel isn't really about what I want or what I done. It's way better than the things I set my eyes on. To real with me, you been here since the mile one. Before the world, you said I'm destined as your child. So wherever I run, let me walk along the path you put your light on. God, you see behind the faces that I tried on. Yeah, that's why. everything painted it looks black i promise you guys it is not black it always looks that way for some reason i don't know why and it just carries your eye up just like i was thinking it would and it also makes the ship lab pop a little bit more as well here you can see Kyle and our nephew Bowden. We're just building a cube organizer and I wanted to choose to use a cube organizer in the space as well, of course, because I love them, but also it ended up being a little bit cheaper and it also gave us a little bit more versatility and a little bit more space than a typical dresser would. And it also gave us the option to store her shoes in her bedroom as well. And so those are the reasons that I opted for a cube organizer. And then next my brother started working on installing the desk and this is just a floating desk. My brother actually made this with some boards and then some metal brackets but I think that you can find them online as well and the reason that we ended up going for a floating desk is just to keep it feeling a little bit more minimal in the space since we were working with a really small room and also to offer a little bit more floor space while still being practical and giving her a desk.
He'd take us fishing at the local dam. We would bike down from his house. Telling stories of a captain he knew from his travels to the past. The cannonballs and muskets and the weapons he used were anything but modern. So grab a rock grenades and proximity mines. Together they ran the ocean. He'd tell us where. So as I'm sure you remember seeing in the beginning of this video, my niece loves adding different things to her wall. So I knew I wanted to create a designated space for her to hang up her own items. And that way it can just help make it feel a little bit more intentional and also make everything feel more calm. So that's gonna be a really great tip if you have kids that are kind of getting interested in including all their own special items on their walls. If you create a special designated space for items like that, it just makes the space look so much nicer than having everything stuck to the wall all over. And it creates that sense of calm as well. The next thing that I wanted to do was add in some coat hooks. She can use this for her towels, she can use this for her coats or belts, just whatever she wants, but I got these coat hooks from Ikea and I'll try to link some similar ones from Amazon in case if you don't have an Ikea near you. And then once we were all done with that, I wanted to insert some clips of just making this DIY ladder. If you have been wanting to make a blanket ladder or a functioning ladder like we are using here, this is so incredibly easy to do. All you are going to do is find some two by fours and then cut them down to size. And then once you do that, you'll just want to make sure that you sand them really well you can add a stain if you like and then also a poly coat will help it be a little bit more durable as time goes on and then all you're going to do is just screw all the pieces together it's a really easy diy to create it also looks extremely high-end and it's all done on a very small budget So we still have a bit more to get done. We have the ladder installed and then we have, I think, I kind of think that this is all we're doing for the most part down here as far as like on the walls and stuff. So she has some coat hooks, a uh, place for her jewelry. This lamp is going to be a game changer because look at how much light that gives off down here. So that's going to be amazing. She loves to pin things on her wall. So she has some cork boards. And then of course she is obsessed with horses. So we have her riding boots and horses. So I think the bottom area is pretty much done. I'm getting ready to have Kyle install a bookshelf because she loves to read. And then we are going to move up to the bed area. So here Kyle and I were just starting to add a bookshelf up by her bed to store all of her books because she is such a bookworm and I wanted to make this really easily accessible to her so that she can just reach over when she's reading at night. But I also wanted to keep it up and out of the way just to keep her room down below a little bit more minimal since she isn't dealing with a lot of extra space. You're okay. I'm so uncomfortable with this. <laughs> so afraid I'm just gonna like fall. 
You can do it. Whoa. Okay. I'm just Stop gonna... it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I can, do you hear it cracking? Stop, you guys. The mice are escaping out of the walls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is our signature to go, you gotta hold it up. Babe. If it starts to go. <laughs> What? Nothing. Did it flex? Yeah. A lot. No, it didn't at all. <laughs> Kyle! <laughs> stop it. What? Are you okay? I'm good. <laughs> Just like scared that I'm gonna die now. So I got this bedding from Amazon. I love it. It came in different colors and even just adding something as simple as bedding can really change up the space. So even if you aren't doing a full on makeover, but just wanting to freshen things up, adding some new bedding can make a huge, huge difference. So a lot of the decor that was used in this bedroom was actually items that she already had. Now I just really found a lot of new ways to display things. So I got like different frames or different backgrounds or even just some different organizing solutions that then I was able to add in her own decor that she already had. And it still kept things really personal and really special to her, but it also just kind of made it a new space and it made everything look very intentional. So don't feel like you have to run out and get a bunch of new things. A lot of times you can just get creative in how you are displaying the items and it can completely change a space on a really, really small budget. It is pitch black outside. It's been an all day affair for sure, but I am in love with how everything turned out. It looks so good. We're about to bring Keely in and just see what she thinks of it, but I think she's gonna love it because I was able to incorporate a lot of her things that were really special to her and also make it very functional. Everything is just very calm and peaceful in here, but it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's her. So I'm really excited to see what she thinks of everything. So here is the before of my niece's bedroom. I cannot believe the transformation. As you can see, she didn't have a built-in ladder or anything. She also did not have enough room for her books, enough room for all of her clothes. They were just kind of spilling out of her dresser and there was really just not a whole lot of style to the room. And here is the after. I cannot believe the difference here. Everything is so styled. I love her accent wall. I feel like it makes everything pop and it just kind of ties everything together. And it also brings your eye up to the loft area up high. I think there is so much more floor space now. Everything is so much more functional. There's really a place for everything and everything pulled together just really gives her room a more grown up space, which I know she loves being almost 12 years old. I also ended up adding a floor lamp that I forgot to mention earlier. It doesn't take up a whole 
whole lot of room, but it adds so much lighting to the bottom area of her bed. And then up high in the loft area, I feel like this is her new little oasis away from everything. She just has everything she needs. She has her books up here, brand new bedding, so comfy and cozy. And then she also has this little nightstand and lamp just to help make the bedroom area totally complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you lots of ideas, especially if you are working with a really small space. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of this particular bedroom. And also let me know if you have had a favorite video of this series that you've seen so far. I'm also going to be linking my room makeovers playlist right here. So once you're done watching this video, you can click there and just start going through that playlist and see all the different transformations that I've shared on my YouTube channel so far. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode number four in my farmhouse makeover series where I am transforming four different rooms in my brother's farmhouse up in Montana. I have loved doing this series. It's been so amazing to be able to help them and also share these ideas with you guys. They have been really unique spaces, so it's just been a lot of fun to be able to do this project. And today we are going to be focusing on my brother and sister-in-law's master bedroom. As you can see here, I am showing a before of their master bedroom and they don't have a bed frame. They don't have a lot of storage, not a lot of decor, and they also don't have a workspace, which is very necessary because my brother does work from home. So we are going to be tackling this space and making it very functional for them and also bringing a lot of peace and calmness into this room. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. I still remember your number. Can see those digits by heart. With that first drink of the summer. So the first thing that I want to do, of course, is going to be emptying out the room completely. There is actually not really much that we are going to be keeping in this room. Aside from the mattress, we are doing all new furniture and everything just because a lot of the things that they had were things that were either passed down to them or things that they have just had forever and it didn't really fit the space or their needs very well. And so I wanted to start with a completely clean slate. And one of the most popular questions that I get asked when I share these makeovers on my channel is how I start out with these makeovers or how I start to to envision things in my head and I might do a video on that or I might also share just a blog post over on my website about that just going a little bit more into detail on that whole process but the first thing that I want to do every single time I do a makeover is I ask myself or whoever I am doing the makeover for two different questions and it helps me go through the makeover with a lot of intent and just making sure that we are crossing off everything on our wish list and just making sure that we were making the space very very functional so the two questions that I want to ask are what are the problems in this space and also what are the functions that you want to accomplish in this room. Asking these questions seems very simple, but it does give you a lot of direction and just lets you start filling in the blanks easier as you go throughout a makeover. I 
so echoey but literally there's like no bed no furniture no anything now this area is actually going to be under construction they are adding a second bathroom into their house and so that is going to be their bathroom slash closet we're not doing anything with that space but we do have a lot of new space that we are going to fill up with just really, really functional pieces. So right now, Kyle and I are actually going to build a cube organizer, which is going to serve as their dresser. As soon as we get that built, we wanna build that first because that is going to just take a lot of floor space. And so before we bring the bed in, I wanna get that built. And then once we get that built, we are then going to bring in the new bed. I got a feeling that this could be a little more than feelings. If I'm being honest, so here, once again, I am using another cube organizer. This was actually something that my brother and sister-in-law had kind of requested. They had told me originally that they did not have enough storage space and they wanted a really, really large dresser or something that was able to hold a lot of clothes, like all the seasons of clothes, just because they don't have a lot of extra storage in their home. And so I knew right away adding a large cube organizer was going to be our best bet because one, it was going to give them a ton of storage, also not take up a lot of floor space, and it was gonna be great on a budget. Cause I really want you in my space Picking up every call I'm falling all my money's off you I never knew I needed love Needed love, needed love I always thought I'd be enough Be enough, be enough You show me what it means to see Outside of me God knows what I'd be missing Now I really need your love Need your love, need your love So here my brother is just starting to install one of the barn doors in their bedroom. They are going to end up having two in here, but you won't see the other one installed until the next day. But barn doors seem like they are going to be a ton of work, but they really were not that difficult, I don't feel, especially when you can get the hardware online. So I'm gonna link the hardware that they used down below. I loved how it turned out, and we are definitely going to be doing one like this down in our own basement at our own house once we get around to that, of course. But barn doors are really cool because they are, of course, very functional. They also don't take up a whole lot of space as far as open opening and closing a door into a room, and they also kind of add their own decor element, which is just really cool. Okay, so I have the carpet or the rug laid out. I love the style of it. I'm wondering if it's a little bit too big for the space. So right at the end of this tape measure is where the end of the bed is going to come. And so there's just like a small little walkway right here. If you put the rug all the way up to the wall, then it's like the rug just barely comes out above it. Obviously you can walk on the rug, but it would be nicer if the rug I think was like over a bit. So I'm gonna kind of play around with it for a little bit. I'll let you know what I decide because I'm I'm just feeling like it's a little bit too wide, maybe like a little bit too deep. I wonder if I should have got like a five by seven for this room. I'm 
Mama's cooking in the kitchen And our stomachs have eyes We take a seat at the table As the sun splits through the open blinds And Dolly's barking from the front yard And she wants to come inside Yeah, I got a sweet suspicion so I ended up deciding to not do the carpet or the rug just because it just kind of overpowered the space after all once we kind of got the bed a little bit set up just to kind of get a better idea of it. We are going to get the bed set up and then I also have to go paint these uh, side tables. I got them for a really good deal but they don't match. So the size and the shape of them and everything is exactly the same but the finish that they have on them was different and so I need to just spray paint them just so they match. I was thinking I was gonna do white, but I'm kind of thinking there's a lot of white in here. And so I think I might end up doing something a little bit different. I really hope that you can see the difference in them. This one actually has like a grayish blue tint to it. And then it has like some brown behind it. And then this one is just like a straight tan and it has white behind it. And so I feel like they are sure looking very similar. <laughs> right here, but they are actually not the same. Like in person, they look very different. So I'm going to lay out a drop cloth and get to painting these, let them dry, and then we will go ahead and tackle the bed. Feel that rhythm, let your mind let go, picking up on the subtle signals of your sight. The self is disconnected, all the things we have perfected when the wind changed with all its might. I think we better learn sometime. We better learn sometime. Now we're walking through the courtyard. So I ended up deciding to paint these side tables the same color that I used in our basement makeover series. And then also this was the same color that we used as the accent wall in episode number three, which was the loft bedroom. And this is the color Poppy Seed by Bear. I love this color so much. I feel like it's the perfect navy color. It's very neutral. And so it doesn't seem like you're adding something crazy into the room, but it's just a really great way to add some darkness and depth into a space without actually adding a dark black. And that a good I never gone, never gone, never gone, say yeah. Feel that rhythm, let your mind let go. Picking up on the subtle signals of your sight. The self is disconnected, all the things we have perfected. When the wind changed with all its might, I think we better learn sometime. Oh yeah, I think we better learn sometime. Okay, this is totally why I love spray paint the most because that took me about, it wasn't too long, but it was probably about 15 minutes to do just the one and I still have to do the other one. But I love the color. I use this color actually in our basement when we did our basement makeover series. It's like the darkest neutral navy. It's so pretty. It's called Poppy Seed from Bear and I love it, it's so, so amazing. I already had this color on hand, so I didn't have to get anything else. I love just using kind of like what we already had a lot of times, so that is going to be perfect. It's going to be a pop of color and also kind of ground it a little bit and just kind of break up all the white. And there's the difference. I just, I love that so much. And if they want to change that up, they can always repaint, of course. Selfish disconnected, all the things we have perfected when the wind changed with all its might. I think we better learn. Well, feel that rhythm, let your mind let go. Oh, yeah. I think we better learn. Act like you ain't got no self control. Now, now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I think we better learn. Sometimes
So now we were just starting to assemble the bed and my brother actually built this bed himself. It turned out so incredible and it totally went with the whole decor scheme that we were going with. And it was also just really neat to be able to add the special piece into their finished bedroom. I think he ended up finding a bed plan online somewhere to build this bed, but I found a few similar ones online. So if you are not as handy as he is, you can definitely just purchase a bed similar to this one. So I will link a few of those down below for you guys. A super quick tip that I wanted to share that I've actually shared several times before is anytime you have something you don't love, think about if you can spray paint it, it can give a piece a whole new life and a whole new look on a very, very small, almost non-existent budget. The next time I turn around, your love grown into a woman in a single bound. I hope I never take you for granted. Spending time with you is all that I wanted. But I'll go back to when you were small, burning. These curtains are actually from Ikea, they're the same, not the same ones, but they're from Ikea just like the boys' room's curtains were. This is just a pipe, it's like a, just an iron pipe. You can also just use PVC pipe or you can use a wooden dowel. And then up on the wall are just some leather straps. So all you do is just cut those to like how deep down you're going to want your curtain to go. And then you just make like a loop and screw them into the wall and then hook your pipe through the leather loop. And I think one of the cutest ways to have a curtain rod. So this was super inexpensive to do it this way and it was really easy. So definitely a good idea if you guys are trying to find a way to do a curtain rod on a budget. This is definitely a great option. If you're scared let the run down street lights be your stars. Let them know who we are. Let them shine for you. It's no use living if you're already dead. It's not worth saying if it's already said. Even if it all goes over your head, believe it if you want to. So keep your eyes on the road and your head in the stars. Follow it down the rabbit hole just a little while longer. You can change. One way to save a ton of money and totally change up your room is actually by adding in a duvet cover. So you can buy them from Amazon, you can buy them all over the place, but they are typically a lot less expensive than getting a whole new comforter or quilt. And they look just the same and they're actually easier to clean because you don't have to wash the entire comforter. You can just take the duvet off, toss it in the wash, and then add it back onto your quilt. So we are just going to be using the same quilt that they had. This was the side that they had up, but we are just flipping it over and then we are going to add this inside the duvet cover and it will give it a whole new look with the same blanket. So a trick to put on a duvet cover is to flip it inside out and then lay the duvet cover on top of your quilt and then go ahead and just tie the corners to the duvet cover and then fold it right side out again and then pull the comforter back inside the duvet cover. It looks a little bit tricky, but once you get it down, it is so quick and easy to do. Be my best friend. I will wait on your border until you will let me in. Hand on my head, chest on my chest. To the sound of voices and of drums. I will show you how the West was won. City with our windows down, we couldn't 
So one quick trick that I wanted to share is if you don't have decorative throw pillow covers, you can just use a regular pillowcase with a throw pillow insert and then fold it in to create an easy decorative bed pillow without having to purchase extra pillow covers. One of the last furniture pieces was the nightstands and lamps. I love this lamp style. I feel like it is so cool looking. It's very simple, but it adds a really fun texture because of all the metal and glass. And then next, I am just adding in the cubes into the cube organizer. Now I'm not going to be filling up their drawers because they have to go through their own clothes and just kind of decide which ones they wanna keep and which ones they want to get rid of. And then they also need to decide how they are going to kind of organize this. But now they do have tons and tons of space to utilize. They can even use a lot of these, not just for clothes, but even shoes or other kind of storage as well. On your border and I'll search through the clouds. Yeah, we left New York City with our windows down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So here Kyle and I are just starting to add in some shelves to store extra cameras because my brother is actually a professional photographer here in Montana. And then once we got the shelves hung up, we added in a slim desk just right in front of their window. Kyle and I actually both have our desks right in front of windows in our own home and it's so amazing just being able to work right in front of your window and not have to feel like you're facing a wall constantly. And so especially since they have these beautiful gorgeous windows, I wanted to really utilize that space and let it be something that they could enjoy while they are working. Apologetic text, he says to come over. Well, the whole town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here. Another functional piece that I wanted to add to the room was adding in this coat hook. I love this one. It was just from Amazon. It looks so cute. It's very slim and it also is going to be extremely functional, just giving them a place to hang either their coats or their robes or just whatever they want and help use a little bit more of that vertical space. Said 
So here we are adding in the last touches to the room. And the very last thing that happened was actually the next morning when my brother added in the final barn door into their farmhouse bedroom and it totally completed the look. It looked so amazing. All right, it is pitch black outside. Once again, this took a long time, but this is one of my favorite rooms I think I have ever done a makeover on. I love how everything turned out. We are about to bring my brother Jacob and sister-in-law Brittany in and just let them see everything for the first time. I just, I could not love this more. So in the before that you just saw, they had no bed frame, no storage, no decor, and no workspace. Now they have everything they need while still keeping things simple and minimal and still tying everything into their modern farmhouse decor style. I absolutely love this space, all the textures, there's so much function, and this bedroom has just become one of my very favorite makeovers that I have ever shared on my channel. I've been able to talk to my brother about all of the makeovers ever since doing them, and it's been amazing to hear how much of a big change that is made in their daily lives. I have been super grateful to be able to do these makeovers for their family and also share them with you guys and just hopefully give you guys lots of inspiration. I hope you enjoyed this series. If you've missed any of the videos, like I said, I will link them down below and also at the end of this video so you can make sure that you get caught up on all of my makeovers. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next one. All right, open your eyes. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> this is so nice. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't paint the wall blue, but we painted the nightstands for a little darkness. <laughs> I love that. No, I love that. Oh, and then you got a new chair for oh, your man. desk. Wow. That's, that is nice. That's pretty sleek. This is nice. Do you guys like I it? I love it. Yeah, it have the tall curtains. And yeah. It doesn't, I don't feel like it made it big. No. 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 It, but it it's, does it's make light, it. It's light, but it makes it cozy. Bigger, yeah. like taller. Yes. Yeah. 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 This. We have a space for clothes. <laughs> so good. This is going to be so awesome. That is so awesome. She going to like it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you to cry like a baby. <laughs> like, it's cute. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this is so cool. You All know. those years of building and then it finally <laughs> comes together, you know, it's, yeah. a, big, yeah. it's a big thing. Yeah. Your ears of building and like this is, you know, what we dreamt about is having like a finished room that we could be proud of. We had to move in and we moved in with what we had and and there it sat because we were busy doing other things. And this all would not have happened if you guys didn't come. Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore. Don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. I don't mind selling out or playing cover song. Just as long as friends and family sing along. And I don't need more money or a faster car, no. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, no. I'm gonna take this little house and make a home. 
And I'll never have to face my nights alone Cause in my heart I hear you speak And on my face I feel you breathe Next to me To by land, by air, by sea And that is how it's supposed to be